Dynamic flashcards. What are they and how can this interactive study technique help you achieve your learning goals? Studying is more effective when you're actively interacting with the material and making it your own, as opposed to just rote memorization. So how do you create your dynamic flashcards? Creating your study deck, you first need to identify what set of terms you need to learn. For this example, we're going to use sports. So you're going to write all terms on one side of a set of index cards, for example, golf, football, and swimming that I have on the right. You're then going to brainstorm four categories that can help you to learn each term. So for the sports example, I have where is the sport played? Is it an outdoor field? Is it a swimming pool, an ice rink, etc.? Is this a team sport, individual sport, or can it be either? What things do you need to play this sport? Do you need a tennis ball, some ice skates, goggles? And is protective headgear required? Do you need a helmet or some sort of protective barrier when you're playing the sport? You're then going to identify the corresponding answer to each category for each term. So for the swimming example, the front of the card will say swimming and the back of the card will be the answers to each of these questions of the categories that you just set up. So for example, swimming it's played in the water, it could be either an individual or team sport, you need goggles and no protective headgear is required. So what might your finished cards look like? So how do we use dynamic flashcards? Let's see them in action. Let's first try to sort by these categories with our completed cards. Let's do by only team sports, only individual sports, or it could be either. Now that we have them all sorted, we can look at the similarities and differences between them. Let's flip them over to see what terms they are. Let's try sorting by these other categories, either protective headgear or no protective headgear. Interesting. It looks like according to what we sorted by last time of the category of could be either individual or team sports, or only on the no protective headgear side. It's important to make these kinds of connections in order to get a fuller understanding of the material. Let's flip them over to see what kind of terms they are. Let's switch gears and try to apply what we've learned by sorting from the other side of the card. Now we have a stack of cards where the term is face side up. So let's see what we've learned. Let's sort again by protective headgear or no protective headgear. Do you think you would be able to do this with the term facing up? Great, now let's check our work by flipping them over to the other side with the pictures. Something important to note is that these rules can and should be broken. You should create what works best for you and that might not necessarily be what's in this presentation. Try to play around with it and see what's most effective. So go forth and good luck and have fun using and creating dynamic flashcards to learn.